Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video and today we have what is actually the last sneaker from that huge ridiculous amount of sneakers I got back in April. I got 13 from a big unboxing, I picked up 3 in Minneapolis, picked up 5 on a school trip, so I had, what's that math, I had 21 pairs of sneakers uh, to review. This is actually the last one. And uh, here we go, LeBron 11, Brave Blue, Mineral Teal, Atomic Pink, gonna pull these out of the box and get straight into the review. All right guys, so here they are. Here they are, the LeBron 11 Miami versus Akron. These released December 7th. I didn't pick these up right away. Uh, they sat around for a bit. I actually scooped them up for under retail. Uh, I wanna say like end of December, early January, sometime around there. Uh, got them back then. So I'm gonna give you a detailed review as always. Hit that like button, please. It does go a long way in helping out my channel. You know the spiel, just go click it. Much appreciated, thumbs up. Starting off on the bottom, we have this Atomic Teal is what I'm assuming it is. Really good looking color. It reminds me of the mint on the South Beach and King's Pride colorways, except it is a bit more green, uh, just a bit more fuller green. You have a pink cutout right here. Brave blue shank plate with your Atomic Pink. Sorry, there is a bit of dirt. I have worn these once um, with your Atomic Pink signature and you have your same colors right here on the heel again. The upper is really cool because all these colors, you can't really tell what color they are. Like this iridescent hyperposite, if, it, if I'm making any sense, looks blue and green at the same time, thus the term iridescent. And the atomic pink looks both orange and pink at the same time, so I really like that color combination. But you have this, what I believe is brave blue, or maybe it is atomic teal, but either way, you have it all over the hyperposite right here, all over here on the medial side and I guess you have your brave blue swoosh right there and once again here you have flywire written in that green color that we saw on the bottom and your triangular cutout on the back all the hyperposite is surrounded by a brave blue hyper fuse all the way around just as you guys are used to seeing and we have a brave blue breathable mesh over the rest of the upper. The swoosh, as I said, is actually really cool, coated with that atomic pink. It looks both pink and orange at the same time. And you have the same design on the swoosh that you had on the King's Pride, if you guys are able to see that. Sort of that, like the cool little uh, LJ design is what it's supposed to look like, I believe. The laces are really cool on this pair. You have a brave blue with both green and atomic pink speckles running all the way up the laces. And on top of the tongue, we have this nice thick pro combat tongue as usual with the LJ crown logo in brave blue and green. Also a little green pull tab right there. The insole and sock liner. Sock liner is entirely atomic pink. It gives an awesome flash of color when you wear these guys and the the insole, the pullout insole, if you guys are going to be able to see this at all, I don't think you will be, but it is brave blue with a pink LeBron flipped around says James logo. So basically the inspiration for these shoes, Miami versus Akron, is uh, all the blue colors are symbolizing Akron's blue collar working class and like the hard working uh, culture of Akron, Ohio, I guess, and the pink and the brighter green colors, those are like the South Beach colors and are symbolizing like the Miami lifestyle and sort of like the fun Miami lifestyle, I guess for lack of a better term. And the combination of the two into LeBron's life. Of course he has left the heat now, so it doesn't really apply anymore, but how Miami and Akron were both big influences in his life and we're like sort of joined together on this shoe. Uh, I really like the shoe overall. I think it's a great colorway. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, I would much appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, guys. Until next time, peace.